Hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about friend function in C++ programming. The friend keyword is used to create the friend function and the friend function is used to access the private and the protected member of a class. Like an example here we have one class A and the class has one private data member. Now we can declare one friend function inside of the class definition and we can access the private member of the class outside of the class definition. And the friend function is always defined outside of any class definition. So first of all, we have declared one friend function inside of the class definition with a semicolon at the end. And then we must define the friend function outside of any class definition. And it takes the class type object as parameter to access the private or the protected member of that class. So the friend function always takes one object as parameter and then we can use that object and we can access the private member of that class. And it is invoked like normal function without using any object. So whenever we call the friend function we just directly write the name of the function and we pass the parameters. We don't have to use any object to call the friend function because the friend function does not belong to any particular class. We define the friend function outside of any class definition. That's why we don't have to use the object to call the friend function. So in this example program we have one class A and the class has one private data member and the constructor of the class used to initialize the private data member. Now we have declared one friend function inside of the class A with one semicolon at the end to access the private member of that class and the friend function takes one class type object as parameter. Now we must define the friend function outside of the class definition. So I'm going to write void display and it will take one class type object and then we're going to use the cout and we're going to print value is and now we're going to use the object and we're going to access the private member of that class. Now inside the main method we're going to create object of class A and we're going to pass the parameter 10 so the number 10 will be used to initialize the private data member and now to call the friend function we just directly write the name of the function and we pass the object as parameter so i'm going to save the program and i'm going to run the program and you can see the output value is 10 so this is the way we can declare one friend function inside of the class a and we can access the private data member of that class from outside the class definition and the friend function can also be used to access the private member of multiple classes. So we have one class A and we have one class B and both of the classes has their own private data member. Now if we wanted to access the private member of both of the classes then we have to declare the friend function inside both of the classes and the friend function is taking both of the class type object as parameter and then we must define the friend function outside of any class definition. So we have defined the function add and the function is taking class A type object and class B type object as parameter and then we have used the object and we have accessed the private member of both of the class A and class B. And then from inside the main method we have created object of class A with one parameter and object of class B with one parameter. And then we have called the friend function and we have passed the object of both of the classes. So the friend function will receive those objects as parameter and then it will access the private member of the class and it will add the private members and it will display the result. So now I'm going to save the program and I'm going to run the program. And you can see the addition is 30. So this is the way we can declare the friend function inside 
multiple class definition and we can access the private member of both of the classes from outside the class definition. So hope you understand the concept. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.